Above his bed, Ryan O'Neill still had pictures of his life in the house where he lived with two dogs, including a portrait of Farrah Fawcett. Throughout Hollywood history, one of the most dazzling and turbulent pairs was Ryan O'Neill and Farrah Fawcett. From their initial encounter in 1979 until their last get-together prior to her passing in 2009, their love story lasted three decades. The Los Angeles native lived until his latter years in his home in La Costa, Malibu. He used to take his animal buddies on leisurely strolls down the beach, which was breathtakingly visible from his apartment. O'Neill was married twice and divorced once during his lifetime. The four-year marriage to actress Joanna Moore was his first union. It gave birth to two children, Gryphon, a son, and Tatum, his lone daughter. Patrick, the child of his second marriage to actress Lee Taylor Young, was born. O'Neill, however, never got married again after the couple's 1974 divorce. O'Neill met actress Fawcett in 1979, the love of his life, but she was already married to someone else. Deep chemistry between them led to a romance beginning following Fawcett's divorce from Lee Majors. Redmond, the couple's son, was born in 1985. Even though they were never legally married, his intermittent connection with Fawcett remained one of the most well-known romantic relationships in Hollywood until her death in 2009. Their love tale was not only passionate and loving, but it also included numerous difficulties. O'Neill was clearly protective of Fawcett, especially when they were making public appearances and showing off their passion for one another in front of the cameras. When they first started dating, he persuaded her to accept her inherent beauty without the need for makeup. But their sincerity did not protect them from criticism from the general population. Fawcett openly discussed an incident that exposed O'Neill's tendency towards self-preservation. They once almost got into a fight when they ran across Jay Bernstein, Fawcett's former manager. In response to O'Neill's question on his appearance, Fawcett said, to tell you the truth, a little tired. O'Neill merely attacked Bernstein because he didn't think much of the criticism leveled against Fawcett. Fawcett said that they both confessed that their relationship had its ups and downs. It was once said of her, we fight, but my opinion is valid and I stand behind it now. Their story echoed the difficulties faced by millions of common people by reflecting the tribulations of two lovely people whose lives were filled with setbacks and difficulties. O'Neill and Fawcett never married to formally formalize their relationship, which was a rebellious decision. They had an unusual love story and remained unified in the face of adversity. O'Neill was diagnosed with leukemia in 2001. They grew closer as a result of their battle, with Fawcett adopting the role of a loving carer. The roles reversed in 2006 when Fawcett was diagnosed with cancer of her own. They were even closer after O'Neill's steadfast support during these trying times. Three years later, Fawcett lost the battle and passed away from the sickness. To make matters worse, O'Neill was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2012, a battle he bravely endured. On December 8, 2023, a little more than 10 years later, O'Neill, then 82 years old, said goodbye to an incredible life. The reason for O'Neill's peaceful demise was not disclosed in his son Patrick's Instagram message. Nevertheless, it captured the affection and encouragement that surrounded the actor in his last moments. The headline said, My dad passed away peacefully today with his loving team by his side supporting him and loving him as he would us. LUX and Ent Magazine was granted access to the iconic actor's home in 2021. Come explore his lovely home at 21,368 Pacific Coast Highway. He lived there with his two dogs, Mozart and Raven, and until his final days, he had a photo of Fawcett above his bed. His stunning, well-kept, and elegant property is perched on the immaculate Malibu coast. It features an open floor layout that highlights the beach's natural beauty. The doors open to reveal an artistic treasure to the magazine crew. O'Neill welcomed Mozart and Raven into his house, 
and they were his faithful canine pals. As stated in the magazine, the exquisite architecture complemented the stunning view of the ocean. O'Neill's love for his canines was clear to see. They regularly frequented his Instagram page, giving fans a peek into his private life. Tasteful furnishings and a large portrait of Fawcett, a significant work of art, decorated the living room. This enthralling depiction, which paid homage to a relationship that stood the test of time, brought passion to the space. With a welcoming smile, Emil, who personified hospitality, greeted the crew. He invited them to splurge on the cheese, crackers, wine, grapes, and other delicacies that covered the table. He asked, are you hungry? To make his guests feel at home and create a laid-back, welcoming atmosphere. The performer displayed an unwavering energy despite the passing of time, amidst the breathtaking natural beauty of his seaside surroundings. He relished the benefits of nature and was even photographed taking a leisurely stroll along the Malibu beach, exuding happiness and serenity. In September 2020, there was a poignant occasion when O'Neill's complete family came together at his Malibu home. Son Patrick and daughter Tatum joined O'Neill on his 82nd birthday, which would turn out to be his last. In April 2023, Tatum shared a picture on Instagram that showed a touching detail. A large portrait of O'Neill's beloved faucet is hanging on the wall above his bed. When we consider the glimpses we were given of O'Neill's Malibu getaway, we see not just the beauty of an opulent home, but also the warmth of hospitality, the happiness of family, and the enduring power of love. Every area of this beachside sanctuary is a testament to a life well spent, and the La Costa Beach property serves as a fitting memorial for O'Neill's legacy.